Earthquakes An earthquake is a vibration of the Earth's surface caused by the movement of tectonic plates. These plates can slide past each other, collide, or drift apart. When a huge amount of energy is suddenly released, the ground begins to shake. Earthquakes most often occur along tectonic plate boundaries, especially in the Ring of Fire or the Pacific Belt. To measure earthquakes, scientists use an instrument called a seismograph. This device records ground vibrations, which are then displayed as a graph called a seismogram. From this data, the earthquake's strength is calculated using the magnitude scale. One of the largest earthquakes ever recorded was the Great Chilean Earthquake of 1960, with a magnitude of 9.5. Types of earthquakes include tectonic earthquakes caused by the movement of Earth's plates, volcanic earthquakes triggered by volcanic activity, collapse earthquakes caused by the collapse of land or underground caves, Megathrust earthquakes extremely powerful, occurring when one plate is forced beneath another. Earthquakes can also trigger other disasters, such as tsunamis, landslides, floods, and even volcanic eruptions. Tsunamis A tsunami is a series of powerful ocean waves, usually caused by undersea earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides. When the seafloor suddenly shifts, it displaces a massive amount of water creating waves that can travel across entire oceans. Tsunamis are most common in the Pacific Ocean, especially along the Ring of Fire, where many earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. To monitor tsunamis, scientists use a network of seismographs, ocean buoys, and tide gauges. These instruments detect sudden changes in sea level and wave patterns, sending data to early warning systems. One of the deadliest tsunamis in history struck the Indian Ocean in 2004, triggered by a magnitude 9.1 earthquake off the coast of Sumatra. The waves reached up to 30 meters high and impacted 14 countries. Types of tsunami triggers include earthquake-generated tsunamis, the most common, caused by undersea tectonic shifts, volcanic tsunamis, triggered by volcanic eruptions or collapsing volcanic slopes, landslide tsunamis, when massive chunks of land fall into the ocean, meteor tsunamis, extremely rare, caused by asteroid impacts, volcanic eruptions. A volcanic eruption happens when magma, gas, and ash escape from inside the Earth through a volcano. This occurs because high pressure builds up underground, forcing molten rock to rise until it bursts out at the surface. Most volcanoes are located along tectonic plate boundaries, especially in the Pacific Ring of Fire, home to about 75% of the world's active volcanoes. Scientists monitor volcanoes using seismographs, gas sensors, and satellite imagery. These tools help detect changes in ground movement gas emissions, and swelling of the land, signs that an eruption may be approaching. One of the most famous eruptions in history was Mount Tambora in Indonesia in 1815. It was the largest eruption ever recorded, blasting so much ash into the atmosphere that it caused a year without a summer in parts of the world. Types of volcanic eruptions include effusive eruptions, when lava flows steadily from a volcano, Explosive eruptions, powerful blasts of ash, gas, and rock. Phreatomagmatic eruptions, when magma meets water, creating violent steam explosions. Strombolian eruptions, smaller lava bursts that occur repeatedly. Volcanic eruptions can also trigger other disasters such as pyroclastic flows, lava floods, tsunamis, and even long-term climate change. Tornadoes. A tornado is a rapidly rotating column of air that extends from a thunderstorm to the ground. It forms when warm, moist air meets cold, dry air, creating powerful instability in the atmosphere. Tornadoes are most common in the United States, especially in an area known as Tornado Alley, but they can occur in many parts of the world. To measure tornado strength, scientists use the Enhanced Fujita EF scale, which ranks tornadoes from EF0, weak, to EF5, incredibly destructive. This is based on wind speed and the damage left behind. The deadliest tornado in history was the Dalitpur Saturia tornado in Bangladesh in 1989, which killed more than 1,300 people. Types of tornadoes include supercell tornadoes, the most powerful and long-lasting formed from intense thunderstorms, landspout tornadoes, weaker, often forming without a supercell storm, water spouts, tornadoes that form over water, multiple vortex tornadoes, contain two or more spinning funnels at once. Tornadoes can destroy homes, uproot trees, 
flip vehicles, and cause massive loss of life and property in minutes. Floods A flood happens when water overflows and covers land that is normally dry. This can be caused by heavy rainfall, overflowing rivers, rapid snowmelt, storm surges, or even dam failures. Floods are among the most common natural disasters in the world, affecting both urban and rural areas. Low-lying regions near rivers, coasts, or places with poor drainage systems are the most vulnerable. Scientists monitor floods using rainfall gauges, river-level sensors, satellites, and weather radar. These tools help predict potential flooding and provide early warnings. One of the worst floods in history was the Great China Flood of 1931. Types of floods include river floods, occur when rivers overflow their banks, flash floods, sudden floods caused by heavy rainfall, often within minutes or hours, coastal floods, caused by storm surges, tsunamis, or high tides and urban floods, happen in cities due to poor drainage and heavy rain. Floods can sweep away homes, damage infrastructure, contaminate water supplies, and cause massive loss of life. Droughts. A drought happens when an area experiences a long period of unusually low rainfall, leading to a shortage of water. It can last for months or even years, severely affecting people, animals, and the environment. Droughts can occur anywhere in the world, but they are most common in dry regions such as Africa, the Middle East, and parts of North America, Australia, and Asia. Scientists monitor droughts using rainfall records, soil moisture sensors, river and reservoir levels, and satellite data. These tools help track water shortages and predict the severity of drought conditions. One of the deadliest droughts in history was the African drought of the 1980s. Types of droughts include meteorological drought, caused by significantly less rainfall than normal, agricultural drought, when crops and livestock are affected due to a lack of soil moisture, hydrological drought, when rivers, lakes, and reservoirs run dry, socioeconomic drought, when water shortages begin to impact society, economy, and daily life. Droughts can lead to crop failure, food and water shortages, wildfires, and even mass migration. That's why water conservation, efficient irrigation, and long-term planning are vital to reduce the risks. Hurricanes. A hurricane, also known as a typhoon or tropical cyclone depending on the region, is a powerful storm system with strong winds, heavy rain, and low atmospheric pressure. These storms form over warm ocean waters and can grow into massive, destructive weather systems. Hurricanes are most common in the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific Oceans, while typhoons occur in the Western Pacific. Both can affect coastal regions and islands around the world. Scientists monitor hurricanes using satellites, weather radar, and ocean buoys. These tools track storm formation, intensity, and movement, helping to provide early warnings. One of the deadliest hurricanes in history was the 1970 Bola cyclone in Bangladesh. Types of tropical storms include tropical depressions, weaker systems with wind speeds less than 39 miles per hour, tropical storms, moderate storms with winds from 39 to 73 miles per hour, Hurricanes, typhoons, strong storms with winds above 74 miles per hour, super typhoons, major hurricanes, extremely powerful storms with winds exceeding 150 miles per hour. Hurricanes can cause devastating storm surges, flooding, landslides, and wind damage. That's why evacuation plans, early warning systems, and community preparedness are essential for minimizing loss of life and property.